Hi there and welcome back to my animation channel. Thanks once again for joining me. Last week I had a disastrous um, hard drive crash on my system which um, potentially could have lost me a lot of work. Um, fortuitously I had done a, a backup on this little external hard drive so it just cost me a few days. But um, I want to cover that at the end of this video, how to save your work off um, open tune so that you can get it off your system in case a disaster does strike. Um, but losing my hard drive also gave me an opportunity to um, reinstall open tunes from scratch and also get the FFmpeg um, setup done again, which enables open tunes to export and import uh, MP4 files, which is quite important if you're doing any serious work with it. So I'll cover those three things in this video. Um, installing OpenTunes, getting the FFmpeg installed and working, and also backing up your files outside of OpenTunes. So the first thing we're going to do is to install OpenTunes. Go to the OpenTunes website, opentunes.github. Scroll down until you find the OpenTunes tab. Decide whether you're Windows or Mac operating system and hit the button. It'll download into a zip file in the bottom left of the screen. Click on the accept and it will extract this all onto your onto your system and open tunes is up and running. Pretty standard um, and pretty straightforward. You can go ahead and use OpenTunes now for all your animation and everything will be hunky-dory but if you ever need to import or export mp4 files uh, this setup that we've just done won't be able to do that. To do that we need to go and take a one extra step. We have to go and set it up with ffmpeg files and for this we go to ffmpeg.org once we're in the ffmpeg.org site, we scroll down to the download button, hit that, and it will give you an option of whether you want to download the Linux or Windows or the Mac operating systems. Uh, we are Windows here, so we'll hit that and uh, have a look at what's available. There's two .exe files available. Let's have a look at the first one. It's Codex FMP. We have a look at the second one, which is auto build, and I select this fourth one down here. It looks pretty straightforward. So I select that, and the bottom left, it's downloading the zip file. And when it's finished downloading, hit the exe file, the zip file, and it'll extract onto your system the three files that it needs the ffmpeg, ffplay, and ffprobe. The zip file will put it into a bin folder. Go and select these three files out of that bin folder, copy them, and put them where you want to, where um, OpenTunes can find them. So I've been putting them in my C drive under OpenTunes stuff and create a FFmpeg folder and I drop them in there. So now we can go and open OpenTunes again. Select File, Preferences, import export and then select that button on the right of the FFmpeg path that with the three little dots on it if we read here please provide the path where FFmpeg is located on your computer so select that button and then go to where you save the three files in my case it was at C open tunes stuff and the FFmpeg file Go to the bottom right and choose that folder, select it, and then you can close OpenTunes down and reboot it. So now that we've rebooted OpenTunes, we just want to check that these three files, FFmpeg files, have been found by OpenTunes. So we go back to File, Preferences, Import, Export, and there they go. The FFmpeg path is to where we've put the files. So it has found where they where they are. We can also go check in the output settings. Um, there's MP4s and there's the GIFs, the GIFs. 
uh, which weren't there before so it has installed correctly so let's just test that it is working I'll go and find some animation here the flying bird open it up in open tunes and render it select mp4 let it render and there it is rendered as mp4 so it is working the last thing you can do to check is to import a mp4 into open tunes just drag and drop this one from transpotter and that's it's working it's not that difficult and definitely if you want to be working with mp4 files on the export and import side it's something you want to do just quickly at the end here I just want to mention a little bit about saving files um, when you start with open tunes it saves everything in its own sandbox and the, all the files, the drawings, the extras, inputs, outputs, palette scenes and scripts, separate files within the sandbox. Um, you can go set it up so that you s it's saving it in your C drive, um, which I have done here. And then when it comes to um, saving your files off your system as a backup, you can just go into these folders and select your your scenes your drawings etc and and save them on an external drive so i highly recommend that you set your system up in a way that you can back up or make copies of your work off your system just in case you do have a hard drive crash uh, because that that can really hurt you and once again if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any updates and thanks once again for joining me I hope to see you again soon. All the best.